Folks, I hope you're doing well, and welcome to episode 4 of What? AKA, We All Practice the Same Stuff. If you don't already know what the series is, every two weeks I'm going to give you a new exercise that we can all practice together. If you haven't already, make sure to check out episode one of the series where I go into more detail and you can learn how to make the most of it. Probably just based on the title, I already scared a bunch of people away, but today we're going to talk about the exercise called Spider. Probably a bunch of you guys are these super brave people who don't care about spiders, but I am not one of those people. If I just see a spider on the wall, it's not a big deal. I mean, I can see him, well, <laughs> if it's a huge spider, then it's a big deal, but if it's a normal sized spider, whatever, like I can see him, he can see me, but I don't like it when they could just be crawling on me when I don't even know. I can't even count how many dreams I've had of spiders chasing me or spiders trying to crawl on me and I wake up and I'm just throwing fists and swinging my legs and my wife is getting pretty nervous. She doesn't want to sleep next to me anymore. Sorry, Reina. But if you're like me today, we're going to conquer our fears because this is just a guitar exercise. It's not a real spider. But if there's still a few people who are kind of nervous, no worries. I've got you covered. Today, throughout the video, I'm going to be giving you eight spider jokes to help you relax. Whenever I tell a joke, you can see the counter up here, as well as hear a drum beat or the studio audience. <laughs> now, I really probably should have waited to release this video until National Spider Month, webuary. Seven more of these folks buckle in. But I just couldn't wait any longer. This exercise is such a classic. It's been around as long as I've been playing guitar, and I'm sure even longer. And I'm probably showing my age here a little bit, but the other day I asked my niece if I could borrow a phone book. And she said, Uncle Josh, you're so old, just use my phone. So I smashed her phone against the wall to kill the spider. <laughs> and after that, she hated me so much, even as much as Spider-Man hates driving with his evil twin, because he's a bad parallel parker. <laughs> but let's jump in and I'll show you more about this exercise. Okay, now while we're going through the exercise, I'll put it here so that you can see. And I know it looks kind of scary, but it can't be as scary as the spider I saw the other day that had 50 eyes. I yelled, Sp Two hours later. Spider. Because <laughs> he has 50 eyes. Spy, a lot of eyes. Like eyes, the letter eyes, but also eyes like this. You get it. Before we begin, let's quickly go over our left hand fingers. For the rest of the video, Every time, my pointer finger will always be on the first fret, somewhere on the first fret. My middle finger will be somewhere on the second fret. My ring finger will be somewhere on the third fret. And my pinky finger will be somewhere on the fourth fret. We'll always be playing on two strings, one lower string and one higher adjacent string. So if we look at the first line, we start with our first finger on the first fret and we play on the low E string. And then we use our third finger and play on the A string. Then we use our second finger, play on the E string. And our fourth finger to play on the A string. Next, we're going to use our third finger and play on the low E string. Our first finger, play on the A string. Our fourth finger to play on the E string. And our second finger to play on the A string. So that first part will sound something like this. This will continue all the way down, so we'll shift the next one to the A string and the D string. Okay, and this will continue all the way down the strings. Let me show you what this will sound like. strings and this time it's going to be a little bit different. This time we're going to be starting with our second finger on the high E string. Then we'll use our fourth finger on the B string. Next we'll use our first finger on the E string and our third finger on the B string. Next we're going to move to our pinky finger, our fourth finger on the high E string and our second finger on the B string our third finger on the E string, and our first finger on the B string. So before we did low, high, low, high, low, high, but this time it's going to be high, low, high, low, high, low. 
and this will also continue all the way up the strings. Let me show you how this one will sound. There's a lot going on in this exercise in the left hand and in the right hand, so I really recommend taking it slow. You don't want to end up like a spider with his right legs on his left side and his left legs on his right side. A daddy wrong legs. <laughs> the most important thing to keep in mind with your right hand though is when you're going down the strings, you're always going to be going pointer, middle, pointer, middle, pointer, middle. When you're coming up the strings, it'll be the opposite. You'll always be going middle, pointer, middle, pointer. Also, let's talk about pants. For pants, I'd really recommend anything. It doesn't really matter because this is just a segue for the joke, but for example, I'm wearing shorts. Um, what I'd really not recommend is that you wear spider silk pants because the fly just keeps getting stuck. In just 15 minutes a day, this is going to be enough. It's a pretty tricky exercise. If you work up an appetite, I'd recommend going to your nearest Paris-themed restaurant and getting the spider special, the French flies. So let's check out how this all sounds put together. Folks, I really want to thank you again for tuning in to episode 4 of Watts. I especially want to thank anybody who has a deep fear of spiders for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I can't stress this enough. If you've been following the series, if you're interested in this series, if you're practicing along, then you really should join the Discord. I personally use it every day and I found it to be pretty awesome. I keep putting my practice log in and I can see my progress every day. Link will be below if you're interested. Now I'm sure you're all looking at this number here and you're thinking, wait, this guy promised me eight spider jokes. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, otherwise you're gonna be like a spider. A total buzzkill.